Nope, I'm sorry. Your Amoongus privileges have been revoked. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Uh, we'll send a letter to the Amoongus' family. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. So, the other day I made a video explaining why Jumpluff is absolutely slept on, and how Joe UX9 won a tournament with a very similar team to this one. We're going to be trying out that team that inspired his team, uh, and yeah, I, I believe this is made by uh, Santino Tarquinio and also 45 Mice. So, you know, I'll link the team and like their original post about it in the description down below. But if you guys enjoyed this standpoint on time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content and answer my comment question of the day, which is going to be, uh, what do you think is the dominant weather this generation? I feel like right now it's currently sun. Uh, obviously, you know, sun won the most recent event, uh, but also like rain has been pretty decent this gen and Tyranitar, even without like sand rush users next to it is is like a really nice pokemon so it, it's kind of up in the air for me but yeah code is on the top right there um and what better time to try out a brand new team than the beginning of the season the format actually just restarted or not restarted but the, the ladder actually just reset and guys i'm about to show you something really embarrassing my rank by the end of the season i think i like i peaked at like 200th um my rank by the end of the season was absolute garbage because i tried using this one really really difficult team and I'm, I'm just gonna show you the damage 14,001 I couldn't even be top 14,000 <laughs> so yeah oh my nose itches my nose ring is like tickling my nose and it's I'm, I'm not appreciating you know I'm gonna take out the nose ring I'm gonna take out the nose ring there we go I'm gonna forget to put it back in but yeah uh, the ladder just reset so we're gonna go ahead and take this team onto the ladder we're gonna do what we can with it and yeah uh where is it so let me review what i'm looking at here so we have a uh jump pluff team with covert cloak i believe it's like encore sleep powder uh leaf storm and tailwind we have specs on the flutter main i have to check the speed tier on it um i actually haven't looked at the team summary yet but we'll look at it at the start of each at the start of the uh of the first battle and yeah uh i think i'm just gonna do like three games maybe four games depending on how quickly they go uh, but, oh, is this Grayson? If this is the Grayson I'm thinking about, I actually know this guy. Um, all right, hold on. Let me check something out real quick. Specifically, I'm curious about the Fluttermane. Hold on. 189 speed. Okay, this is a pretty similar Fluttermane to what I'm used to. Uh, I think versus this, it looks like we're facing Lycanroc Dusk, which is a Pokemon that I completely forgot. Or actually... Is that Dusk? There's Lycanroc Day, Lycanroc Midnight. Yeah, this is Dusk. I have not seen this Pokemon in a minute. It's not even really a sand user. It's It, it doesn't even get Sand Rush, I'm pretty sure. Um, But yeah, it looks like... Did I make use of this thing on lead? I don't know. Um, I actually really like the... I like this lead quite a bit. This is a couple options. Or actually, let's do this. Uh, and I think in the back here, we can probably just go with the Flutter Main for cleanup crew. Hmm. Is that smart? Nah, let's just go full physical attacker. Why not? I, I don't know how to play against this. It's not balanced. It's like, I know I said like, hey, what's the best weather? And all of a sudden I face a Lycan Rocket Dusk immediately. I don't even know what that thing does. I don't even have like the model for that picked out and ready to go for thumbnails. Like I have to go get that after this. Sorry if I'm messing with my microphone a little too much. I'm still not used to the arm. All right, Amoongus and Ting Lu. So, actually, let me see what speed tier this Torkoal is. It might not be minimum speed. Uh, oh, this Torkoal has speed investment. I think we're going to outspeed that. Hold on. I think we actually outspeed that Amoongus. Wait, that's kind of cool. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I really want to see if I can outspeed this Amoongus. What is this? This is Terra Flying? I don't think it's worth it. Let's just overheat. So it's eject pack on the Torkoal. If we outspeed this Amoongus, it's Jover. Jover. 
Ruination? Don't care. As long as the Torkoal goes first, I'm happy. Let's go. All right. So we activated our eject pack. We're going to get this Torkoal out of here. And we're going to go ahead and switch in this uh, this jump up. And Jumpluff is a very scary Pokemon for my opponent. Because I can sleep whatever I want. Dude, speed investment Torkoal is kind of crazy. All right, there's that T-Tar. It's going to set up the sand, um, but I am locked into Headlong Rush. That's a little bit of a scary situation to be in. I don't think I want to be locked into Headlong Rush when a Terra Flying is pretty telegraphed. Let's get in the Torkoal here, get rid of that sand. I'm going to attempt to go ahead and Sleep Powder this Torkoal. Hopefully, it's not actually... Um, hopefully, it's not the set that I, I, I think it is. I, I'm hoping it's like AV, but it might be Lumberry is my concern. Because with a Ting Lu, you have to imagine there might be a Lumberry on there. Taranto is going to protect. I am so ready to Encore him. I'm going to Encore him so hard. He's going to get Encored severely. Throat Chop. Is Encore a sound base move? Also, that crit is not appreciated. I actually don't know if Encore is a sound based move. It's not, okay. Because I know it bypasses sub, I didn't know the other particulars of it. Nice little boost to our attack stat. He's going to be stuck protecting for a second. And I think I can take one more throat chop. As it goes into the tusk. That's big for me. Pretty big. Uh, let's go ahead and lock him into throat chop. And I'm going to... Is this Terra Fire? All right, for a minute I thought it was Terra Fighting. I'm like, hello? <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and encore him as well into that throat chop. Granter is going to go for a protect. As that doesn't quite one shot, but that should be within Leaf Storm range. You know, granted, I survived. Their policy? Okay, I'm not living this throat chop. I'm, I'm, I'm not living this throat chop. I'm sorry, Jumpluff. Jumpluff, I, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, Jump Love. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate. I can't lie. Um, but I, I, you know, being able to just attack whatever I want is not a bad position at all. Especially with this Chen Pao. And yeah, we can go ahead and just throw out a close combat onto the T-Tar. If they want a Terra, it doesn't make a difference. Ice Spinner hits literally any Terra that this Ting Lu wants to go for. There are no safe switches. Nowhere is safe. I know where you sleep at night. <laughs> Great Tusk knows where you sleep. <laughs> I should have like freaked out one of the uh, one of the subscribers. I should have been like, I know where you sleep at night, Jared, and just like toss out a random name. Jared, if you're watching, please comment. You too, Eric. And of course you, Beth. Yeah, if they want a Terra flying on me, I don't really care. Yeah, they're Terra flying and they're locked into Protect, so like, let's do some math here. There is a Chen Pao on the field. I have a Scarf Tusk. Gaming, in fact. And if you're wondering why I targeted into this um, Tyranitar, knowing that it could protect and that it was going to protect, it's because if they wanted to switch, that was just a guaranteed way to get the damage off. Throw 
Granitar's Encore ended. It can't protect this next turn though, which is nice. As they send out the Sandy Shocks, what is your Terra type? Or not Terra type. <laughs> what is your Protosynthesis? Speed, okay. Um, unless it's Thunder Wave, we're still like gaming profusely. I'm gonna send in the coal. And we're just gonna go ahead. Is this Terra flying? I mean, Ice Spinner should just do it. I actually don't know if this one shots. I'd imagine it would. I, I can't really see a situation where it wouldn't. Dude, imagine if Sandy Shocks got Electroweb, how good of a Pokemon it would be. All right. Critical hit. That totally mattered, bro. That totally mattered. Oh, it lived. Okay, interesting. I am terrified. Hello. Um, it's me. I want the sun to go away so I can outspeed things again. Oh, it's Life Orb. Okay, that's big news for me. Cool. Scarf Tusk is still strong. Protosynthesis. Do you, are you booster? It is booster. Okay. So, let me think. Do I get any value out of Terraing? No, because they're just going to Earth Power anyways. Let's go for the Earthquake, and I'm actually going to Terra and Sucker Punch here. Um, I think that'll send it in range. Yeah. So you might be wondering, why am I Terra flying here? Because if they protected, I lose. <laughs> this is just a nice little way to make sure I don't lose if they protected for some reason. And they're life orbs, so if the Tyranitar attacks, it goes down anyway, so it's not really my number one priority. I got crit. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm pretty sure I live that. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a special attack, and it is onto a great tusk. But it's Sandy Shocks. This thing's special attack step isn't that high. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have lived that. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, it is what it is. That's going to be game one. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. I forgot I needed to go before I started recording. I'll be right back. Okay, starting off the ranked season with a loss isn't the best way to go. But, you know, we'll just see what we can do. That's fine. That's fine. You know, in retrospect, I don't know why I sucker punched. Um, I could have just always ice spinnered. Yeah, I, you know, in retrospect, I don't know why I just sucker punched there. For some reason, mentally, I thought, oh, it's Sash. And then I'm like, wait, no, it's definitely not Sash. That was a little bit of a brain fart, but I think I would have won regardless. Actually, let me check something real quick. Let me see this build. Does it have any bulk? It doesn't really matter because it wouldn't have KO'd, I think. But it's it's whatever. All right. Um, Looks like we're facing... I, I don't know. It's... I can't really tell, like, one way or the other what's going on here. Uh, what I do know is getting off a Tailwind is really important. So, I'm actually going to lead off with just these guys. And I get quite a bit of value. This is Sacred Sword, right? No, it's not. It's Taunt. You're Terra Fire. Mm. All right, definitely these guys. Yeah, I really like the speed on the Torkoal. Like, there's no Trick Room option on this team explicitly. Like, in Trick Room, Torkoal functions, right? But Torkoal's entire purpose here is to get off the field. Alright, Kilowattro, Glamora. I should be able to, like, one-shot this Kilowattro. 
I could also sleep powder it, but that's a little bit risky. I am covert cloak on the jump bluff though. Maybe I'll just go for the sleep powder. And just prevent any tailwind whatsoever. Is that worth it? A little bit of a risk. You know what? We're already gaming. Yeah, we're already gaming. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's see if it's Sash. I'm pretty sure it's Sash, but that just means that like whatever comes in next turn beats it. Um, and this Glamora should go for Mortal Spin here. Power Gem. Okay, I think I eat. Unless you're like Specs. And regardless, I get the same effect. I just don't KO the thing. Alright. Um, I like that quite a bit. Quite a bit. And I'm actually just going to toss out a Leaf Storm here to try to KO this um, little Watchroll. And start spamming my Earthquakes. Because I believe this is their only ground immunity. That is their only ground immunity. Yeah, this should be fine. Um, I would lock them into... All right, the Sash is on the Kilowattro. I think it's it's probably AV Glamora, judging by the damage. I think I'm good to assume that they can't one-shot my Tusk. Let's just get rid of this, yeah. I don't want to risk anything. Like, I don't want to risk anything as far as, like, not stopping Tailwind. So, like, stopping Tailwind is, like, priority number one. There's Annihilate, who doesn't eat this very well either. And locking him into whatever move he wants to use would be great. I could also sleep it. Ooh. Ooh, it's leftovers. The play might be to Leaf Storm and get it in range of a second Earthquake. That might be the play. Depends what's in the back here. Like, if it's Glim, we know that it's not Sash. That's Fluttermane. My play is to Tailwind immediately. My play is to Tailwind immediately. Speed was heightened. I'm like 99% sure that with the sun up, I'm still faster. Yeah, uh, we should always be faster at 170 at plus two. Let's Tailwind up and go for another Earthquake. Because a max speed uh, jump bluff sh uh, should be able to outspeed booster energy bundle. So if that's the case, we should outspeed every flutter main. Let's see the Terra Fairies here. Terra Fire, that is a bold decision. That is a bold decision. I guess I could have Terra'd mine, but I'm like sure this is still safe. Yeah. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Like, is this Rage Fist gonna hurt? Yes, but, I mean, like, we've already gotten rid of, like, 99% of their health pool. Rage Fist. You know what? I'm gonna say it. We live. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't do too much. I love you, Great Tusk. Is he? Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, Glamora just comes out. We, we win. We, we literally just win. They've already burned their Terra. I can sleep powder the Glamora for um reasons. Yeah, get them. Very cool team. I honestly, like I like the, how the team works. Did we lose game one off of a crit and a possible misplay? I'm not gonna lie, a little bit of a misplay. Uh yeah. But game two, very clean, very good demonstration of how the team functions, in my opinion. All right, let's do one more, maybe two. I just want to hit 30 minutes. I'd imagine this next game will fill 11 minutes. Or something. Carl, all caps Carl. 
Um, eh, it's a little bit of a weird matchup. I mean, the Gyarados complicates things a little bit, but I don't think it makes a big difference. I think I can always just lead off with the duo. Bring the dude in the back. And honestly, like the exact same thing. Maybe I actually bring the um Maybe I bring the Chen Pao this game, or possibly the AV, um the AV cool dude. His name's Cool Dude, by the way. That's his name. I can also lead off with it for like the Gyarados, but I don't even know if they'd want to bring it to this matchup. I think I'm gonna go with this, yeah. Am I a little weak to Gyarados? Yes. I'm gonna change my mind. <laughs> so I'm gonna change my mind really quick. As someone who recently threw Gyarados on like the team that they are gonna run at a, at a tournament coming up soon, uh, yeah, no, being weak to Gyarados is, is a big issue. Like, if your team doesn't beat Gyarados, like, it... it Alright, so, like, losing to other Pokemon is, like, an issue, right? But on the, I lose to Farigraph to I lose to Amoongus scale, Gyarados is closer to losing to Amoongus than it is to losing to Farigraph, you know? Like, you can find your way around Farigraph. No one really prepares for it explicitly. I, I think Gyarados is on par with Amoongus in terms of that. Speaking of which... Am I able to status? No. Am I able to bust it down gamer style? Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and just toss out a Tailwind and an Overheat. I would Overheat the, um, the Golden Go, but I'm actually fairly certain they want to tear a Water here. And honestly, throwing out a Leaf Storm into that next turn sounds a lot more fun. As the Golden Go protects. Let's see if they protect the Amoongus as well. Nope, I'm sorry. Your Amoongus privileges have been revoked. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Uh, we'll send a letter to the Amoongus' family. Thank you. Amoongus privileges revoked. Uh, I wish I could encore your Golden Go so bad, but I just can't. That is, uh, you know, my top 10 things I wish I could do right now. So Great Test should be able to come in here. And it is uh, quite the threat. Unless it's Terra Flying Golden Go, we're in a really good spot. If it's Terra Water, I would argue this is like a really, really good spot. Ooh, Gyarados. Okay. Um, I think we go right back into Torkoal and we attempt to sleep the Gyarados, even though I'm fairly certain that's not going to work out for us. If it does, though, that'd be really nice. Uh, let's Sleep Powder here. I'm tempted to Terra Water to wall out both of these guys, but I don't think it's worth it either. God, I wish I could Encore that stupid Golden Go. Uh, but at least getting it to burn a Terra here would be somewhat useful. Alright, I'm hoping you're like Citrus Berry Gyarados and not like the two good items. All right, cool. Swap on the Golden Go is always good to see. There's the Ting Lu. All right, I would very much enjoy getting to Sleep Powder you. Behold, the safety goggles. Oh, no. I guess we'll never know. I, I guess we'll just never know. Um, do I want to Encore you into that? Not really. Is this safer? This is somewhat safer. Because people don't run goggles on the, uh... People don't run goggles on their, on their, um, Ting Lu, but they tend to run goggles on Gyarados, so, like, this is actually a little bit of a safer play. Unless they're, like, Terra Flying Terra Blast. As they go for the taunt, that really hurts my feelings. Thank you. Alright, 
let's get Great Tusk right back in. And... Can't really do anything here. Let's actually go ahead and also get in Flutterman. That duo is actually really threatening to this. I believe this is special attack boosting Flutter too. And if I double into this Golden Go, they're not going to enjoy that. It looks like they're going to stay in and let the Gyarados go to sleep unless they know they're Lumberry. That's actually probably a strong indicator they're Lumberry. The waterfall shouldn't do like a ton. King Lou woke up. Oh, that's not great. Rock slide, can you like miss Fluttermane specifically? Thank you. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Alright, show me the Lumberry. There's no way you would stay in if you weren't. There it is. Okay, there it is. So here's what I'm about to do. I'm about to send a message to this dude. I'm about to send a message to this dude. Ting Lu are typically Terra Poison, and if ever there was a opportunity to click that, it would be now. I'm going to headlong rush this Ting Lu, and I'm going to Thunderbolt this Gyarados. You know you want to Terra the Ting Lu. You know you want to Terra the Terra Poison right now. You should Terra Poison now. You should Terra Poison now, or switch into Golden Go. Either one works, really. Both defensive plays get annihilated by this one single call-out that I am very certain is going to happen. Please. <laughs> Please. <gasps> am I crazy? Am I crazy? Did I get the call right? Did I get the call right? This is it. This is the moment. Show me the Terra Poison. Show me the Terra... I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. All right. I mean, I got the neutral hit off. And this is probably gone. Yeah. <laughs> also, being locked into Headlong Rush versus a Golden Go that can't Terra, I'd say that's pretty much that's pretty much like the best situation I could end up in. Um, you know, unless of course they're gonna crit my Great Tusk here with like a Stomping Tantrum, uh, which would not be good. Earthquake, I should take that. Our Sunlight fades. What a shame! What a shame! What an awful shame! And going off of just precedence, I'm gonna say that's. Probably AV Ting Lu. So I can secure a KO on it if I just go for this headlong rush. And swap in the coal. Unless, of course, it's like Scarf Timid Golden Go. Which I don't think it is. Wait, no, we saw Protect earlier. Yeah, I mean, I saw Protect earlier on the Golden Go, and they probably know I'm Scarf by now, so that's why I'm doing this. Alright, be gone. Thank you. Very cool. Very cool Great Tusk. You know, he does have some Great Tusks. Like, we can't lie. Like, like look at him. They're, they're pretty nice. And there's no chance this Golden Go takes a um a Shadow Ball with Protosynthesis and Choice Specs. So I'm gonna argue that's that's good game. That's a You know, sometimes whenever I like I like to say like G. You know how like GIF is actually pronounced GIF, you know, if you're like insufferable. Um I think what is it? it Michael will sometimes say like jaming or like that people call him video James. And I, I like saying words like that, but I'm always scared. I'm like, am I saying something I don't mean to say? There's no point in tearing, yeah. I'm like, if I say, like, jujame, like, is that, like, a bad word? I'm, I'm like, 99% sure it's not. But, like, I'm there's always, like, that hesitancy. Like, wait, am I saying something bad? <laughs> Alright. Good game. So I'm definitely going to be using this team a little bit more on stream tomorrow, but uh, I'd say this is like a really nice little outing with it. Uh, I, I really enjoyed how it played. Uh, it's, you know, a really nice, easy to understand flow chart. I, I don't even have like the EV spreads in front of me, but I just kind of like understood what was built to do what. 
And I'm glad I checked the speed tier on that Torkoal. I had a hunch it'd be a little bit faster of a Torkoal because of the eject pack, uh, but I'm glad I double checked. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like and it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and uh, I'll see you uh, in the next one. And I go live at 5 p.m. CST, or 5.30 CST on Twitch to today. Technically, this goes up today. So tonight, 5.30 CST. Be there, be, or be square. See ya. Bye.